What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Oregon Roll Fishing video. <coughs> ah, I don't have Corona, don't worry. Um, today's video is going to be quite a bit different than they normally are because normally on the weekends I'm going fishing with my dad, you know? It's just guys out, out fishing, catching big LMBs, stuff like that. Today's different because my dad is going to the coast with my sister. They're hanging out at the coast today. So I'm going fishing with my mom. I know this is like kind of a cringe cringe title of a video, fishing with my mom. Anyways, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun, and hopefully I will catch a big bass to take a picture with the new shirt. I don't know if you can see it. I'm on the new pro staff of Keep It Real Fishing. So go to keepitrealfishingclothing.com and use code ORF4 to get 15% off your order. It helps me out and it helps you out. Yeah, today's video is gonna be different. It's gonna be a little more of a vlog type video with fishing in there, but I'll see you guys out there. Alright guys, we made it out to Pettit Reservoir. There are five other kayakers out here. Most I've ever seen out here. My dad and I were like the first people to ever even put a watercraft in here, I'm pretty sure. And then since then, people have been watching my videos and that's what happens. We got five other people out here. So I don't really expect the fishing to be good. I'm probably not going to be talking to the camera as much as well just because there's so many people out here but we'll see how it goes this crazy lady followed me here i enabled you to get here you don't have your license yet <laughs> hey i don't have my fishing license either that doesn't stop me <laughs> all right you gonna help me get in before you launch yourself sure i mean i can't really help you much it's a one person thing but well i'll show you how i do it Okay, so your best bet is to stand here, I'll, and then just hold it like that with your left hand and then just sit down. But try not to like just launch yourself out when you do it. So try to hold yourself close to the bank with your feet. And then I'll give you a shove out. Help you get out. So yeah, you're good now, I think. All right guys, so we should only be out here for about an hour-ish. And then we're gonna go get some food. So like I said, this is just kind of a, a vlog day. Some fishing involved. We'll see what we can catch. See if my mom catches anything. All right. So I'm throwing the big spinner bait. These people, I'm telling you, they're watching my videos because I'm looking and almost everyone here is throwing spinner baits, big spinner baits. Oh, dang. That kid is standing up on his. He has the same kayak that you're in and he's standing in it. Of course, he's, he probably weighs 60 pounds. Looks like a good bass fisherman. He's got the bait caster, big spinner bait. He's doing exactly what I'm doing, but he's probably 11 or 12. Big spinner bait. I just need one fish, get a picture of it, and we can get out of here. Oh my gosh, tiny bass at it right here. What's up? What are you doing out here? I thought I recognized you. <laughs> Having any luck? Yeah, me and my brother both got scared. Really? How big? Little guy. Yeah? Yeah, I think the big ones are deep right now. I was throwing a big spinner bait and then I just got like the worst bird's nest, so I'm fishing shallow now. Caught a caught a pretty decent one shallow over here on this buzz bait the other night. I saw that video. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's crazy. This is the most people I've seen here. 
Yeah. Yeah, good luck to you too. Oh, there you go. Bring him up. Oh, don't you want a thumbnail? In the mouth? Uh huh, thumb in the mouth. Hold on tight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sweet. There you go. That might be your first bass. Aww, that's adorable. Isn't it? Look how big his mouth is. I know, that's awesome. I mean, a, a bluegill this big you couldn't grab by the mouth. Yeah. That's, Aww. that's cool. Good job. There he goes. <laughs> There's a little one right by this log, I'm sure of it. Yep, tapped it. Here we go. Get up here. Landed him. I did not get skunked today. Let the record show. Okay, we got calm down. And he's free. My mom is whooping me. Whooping me in fishing. Of course, if I had an ultralight out here, you guys know I'm the ding master. I would have like 20. 5,000 fish by now. Nice, you took him off the hook and everything? Yeah. Ow. Yeah. That turned my whole body. Right. There you go. <laughs> Good job. Here, you want to get an underwater release on that one? Oh, I have a fish. Oh, nice. Little bass. Tiny bass. Alright, that's bass number two for me. We'll just do a point per fish. Ah, he's getting away. There he is. Oh, wow. Oh, he followed it all the way to your boat. And again, yes. Oh, is that a nice one? It's a bluegill! Very cool. That's a slightly bigger one. Yeah. There we go! Aww. It's a beautiful one. It would have been perfect for eating. <laughs> you missed it. That's <laughs> why I bring you out here. You know, things like that. Uh, yeah. If you want, set a timer on your, a timer on your phone for like 20 or 25 minutes however long you want to stay and then we'll keep taking turns catching fish and then whoever catches the last fish wins yeah I go from catching a five pound bass at Cheadle to catching a less than five ounce bass at Pettit but hey that's what it's all about mixing it up trying different things oh not a bad bass right here, guys. Check this out. This is a nice one. Okay. Nice bass. Here we go. You gotta come check this one out. It is. It's like about a pound, maybe. Near a pound. Probably about a 12 incher. On the grub. Not bad, not bad. It's not a pound. It's a little less than a pound, but it's maybe a 11, 11 or 12 incher. 11 inches. Oh yeah. All right. I'll give you a tip. You see the corner, the left corner. Uh huh. There's. <laughs> I can't see it at all. There's like a dead bush or tree hanging yeah. over the water. Yeah. If you cast at that, there's so many fish, like yeah. so many bluegill and a, a few bass too. I just can't really, oh man, right by the boat. Look at that. Nice, dang. You are just killing them out here. That's your fourth fish. You can go over my line. It's not gonna mess up my cast or anything. Told you this tree, oh, yep, here we go. Little tiny bass. This one's even smaller than yours. I think I've caught the smallest fish and the biggest fish. We're just like trading back and forth, trading back and forth. All right, you shouldn't have any casting problems now. Okay. So we've each gotten four fish. I've gotten the last fish. That is a good idea. What do you want to eat later? 
Oh, I got one. Little tiny guy on the spinner bait. That's cool. This one doesn't count for anything. Little fat guy. This is what he bit. <laughs> Another little bass. Nice. You're just like the master of catching those things now. So that's five fish each. There you go. Nice. You got kind of dirty. <laughs> okay. <Yay>. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you're you're in the lead. You caught the last fish. How much time do we have? Do you think seven and a half minutes to catch a fish? I think I could do that, but I think you could catch one after I catch one. It'd be close. Oh, right at the boat, right at the boat. First cast. Oh, he's got a scar where one tried to eat him too. Yeah, he, he's healthy. I mean, that's like... That's, that's not very fresh. That, that's from a little while ago. She's going to have like six minutes to get a fish. And if she does, it means I'm going to have barely any time to get a fish. So I can't play around. I can't paddle with any good spots. I just got to get the rod and start casting. Oh, right at the boat. I would appreciate that. How much? Well, I guess you can't check the time right now. They're biting so fast, I could probably, I might could even catch one and then you get one in the next cast. I don't know, I keep having problems with lines and grubs and bushes and <laughs> having to paddle away. This is where experience comes in handy. Already? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I don't think I have time. Here, come take it. One minute, ten seconds. Just don't, don't fiddle with anything. Just cast, cast, cast. Oh no! Oh no! Evan, this is what happens when you <laughs> get me in a hurry. Oh, uh, good game. Hey, you should be proud. You caught what? Six fish? I think we each got six. Yeah. So we tied. Well, no, I got seven because I got the one on the spinner bait that didn't count. Well, it didn't count. So yeah, I mean, overall today, we yeah. caught 13 fish total. Here, yeah. I'll take the rod. Uh, can I get one large power forward? Yeah, anything else? Uh, nope, that's going to be it. All right, can I get the first name of the word? Evan. Is it Evan? Yep. All right, I should have that ready for you to pick up. Give me about 15 minutes. All right, cool. Alright, we'll see you soon. Alright, see ya. Well, that was easy. What? That tree? It's disgusting. Look at that, guys. Oh, oops. <laughs> I just smashed my lens. All right, guys, we made it to Odd Mo's. My mom was just grabbing the pizza real quick because I don't feel like going in and I'm lazy. But uh, this pizza is not just pizza. It is the best pizza in the world. So I'll get some, some B-roll shots of that to end the video. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, we're about to head home. We're like five minutes from the house and the truck battery is dying. It's basically dead, so calling the insurance now. This is not how I expected this video to end. But we're gonna go ahead and eat our pizza in this parking lot. I'll get back to you guys later. Yes. Okay, hang on a moment while I try to find your profile. Great. I see this. Alright guys, we have the insurance guy here. He's gonna help us. He's gonna give us a jump. Should be going pretty soon. All right, there we go. 
got it started up. So I guess what we're looking at is probably we'll make it home, get a new battery tomorrow-ish. Tomorrow or the next day, something like that. That is not, that is not even close to how I thought this video would end. Like I had about a few scenarios in my head, that was not one of them. But uh, thanks for sticking around if you lasted this long. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. It started. Um, that is not the end of the video. It, after we jumped it, it just died again. So what do you say? We're going to have to get it towed or what? Yeah. And then what do we do? Are we just going to have to wait for Dad to get home, I guess? I'm going to try to call him again. To if we get it towed him. home, then we'll have to get it towed to some station tomorrow exactly. or the next day. Exactly. And I don't know if USA would cover both of those. So. But it's Saturday. Most places are closed. So... Well, this is the weirdest fishing video ever. Totally unexpected. <laughs> yeah, this is the first. Well, now we are stranded in a parking lot waiting for our ride. We should have just hopped in with him. It wouldn't have been that hard. All right, well, we're stuck out here in the parking lot waiting for a ride. Hopefully, the truck doesn't have any problems. I think I'm going to have to make a part two about this video just talking about the truck. Good old truck. There it goes. Had all our fishing videos in that guy. It will be remembered. Hopefully, it will be fixed. I'll get back to you guys. And just like that, we are home with the truck that doesn't work anymore the tow truck guy is gone so we made it back um that's just about gonna do it for today's video i don't know what is wrong with this thing but we'll see stay tuned for part two to see what happens to the truck hopefully we can still haul kayaks around to make epic videos for you guys